In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Sammy. This is a bot for your Twitch channel. Sammy used to be called Leonbor 2 Community Edition, but because there's also Leonbor 2, this was confusing and they changed it to Sammy. I previously made some Leonbor 1 videos about how to set them up and how to do some things in that, but because you can't download it anymore, we're gonna use Sammy as an alternative. So expect more videos about Sammy coming soon. But before I begin, I wanna thank our sponsor, Owned.pro. With Owned.pro, you can get your own overlays. They offer so many, there is such a long list and you can chase them out unlimited. So if you wanna use this overlay today, but you're feeling like this overlay the other day, it's fine, you can just change them out. And you know what the coolest thing about this is guys? With code TREE, you get 50% off on a year subscription. Link is down below in the description. To download Semi, we're gonna go to this website. I'll leave the link to it down below in the description to make it easy for you. As it says on the website, we need to make sure that we have downloaded the OBS WebSocket. If you don't use OBS 28 yet, make sure that you update your OBS to OBS 28. This makes sure that you can use WebSocket 5.0. Here we see download now. So I'm gonna click on that. We can pay for Semi, but you can also say no tanks, take me do the download anyway. And now here we have the latest one. We've got the update before that. We've got the updater and the DAC. So we're gonna just install 5.2 right here. Now this is opening in my download folder and I'm gonna extract it. So here it is in my download folder and I'm gonna right click it and extract all. We can delete the zip folder now. And this folder we wanna paste somewhere that we can actually remember where it is, not in a download folder, because if you wanna delete your download, you actually might delete Sammy. And I'm gonna put it on my second SSD in the program files. There we go. I got Sammy here. We're gonna open a 64. And then here we got a couple of things. We got the bridge here, which is the HTML. If we open that, that will open a website. Well, this is the website it shows, and this is the bridge. You need to have this open to be able to connect your semi to your OBS and to your Twitch and stuff like that. So make sure that you open this link every time you want to use semi. What I have done is I put it on my stream deck. So if I start a stream, I click on the start button, it will open all the programs I need for streaming. And in there, I've also put opening this link and opening semi. So for me, I don't have to think about it anymore because the button will do it for me. Now we can go back to the 64 folder and we can actually Open is executable right here. More information and run anyway. We're gonna allow it. Windows is being difficult. <laughs> and there was no DAC, but that's all right because we didn't make one yet. And we're clicking yes. Make sure that you put semi in a folder where semi is allowed to write things. So if you put them on your C disk, it might be that you can save your decks. So be aware of that. Okay, so this is a DAC and here you can make decks. But before we wanna make a DAC, we wanna make sure that we connect it to OBS, our Twitch, Twitch chat and the bridge. Because we already opened the link, we are already connected to the bridge. If it says that you're not connected, you need to open this web page. Okay, the second thing I wanna do is connect to OBS. So here it says OBS connection. I'm gonna click on that. And here we see connect with password and stuff like that and a port. The first thing I wanna do here is set this on OBS WebSocket 5. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my OBS here, going to tools and then OBS WebSocket settings. You see that the server port is 4455. If you go here, it says 4444. So we change this into 4455. IP, we can keep that on local. This is our local IP. Here we need to set it on auto connect. So it connects immediately when we start up semi. Then in OBS, we're gonna go to tools and WebSocket settings. And we need to make sure that we enable WebSocket server right here. We can untick enable authentication right here. And because we disabled the password, we do not need a password. So we can keep this empty. Make sure to click on apply in OBS so you enable the WebSocket server because otherwise the WebSocket isn't on. Okay, and then we can just save and close. Now we are connected to OBS and the bridge, but not to Twitch yet. So we're gonna click on Twitch connection and then here we link streamer account. This whole thing for authorization will pop up. They want to know a lot about your account and we're gonna authorize it. Successfully saved, you can return to Semi. Now it worked. So you can see that Tree has joined. Again, click on auto connect right here, connect to Twitch. And now we see that it's connected to Twitch and to the chat. We can say that Sammy has to listen for new followers, whispers and stuff like that. I will leave this on because I don't feel like there's a downside of leaving them on. But if some of these are not ticked and you, for example, the new followers and you want to interact with that value on Sammy, they can't reach it. So make sure that it's ticked then. We can click on done. The buttons will become red for a second, but if you wait a bit, this 
it will connect again and now they're green. And now we can start setting up things in Semi. I don't want to overload you with information, so we're going to show that in the next video. So jump into this playlist with me and I will see you right there.